the recipe that I'm going to share with you today uh, comes from um, a little place that some buddies of mine took me to the last time I was in New Orleans. And it's, it's one of those off the wall places. It's a Vietnamese restaurant called Tan Dien. And we tried a bunch of different stuff on the menu, but one thing that stood out to me was um, it's a Korean style short rib. And, and I, you know, I had to just try to duplicate this after we went to, to Tan Dien. And so that's what I'm gonna share with you today. Now, the recipe for this, it's fairly simple. It's all in the marinade that we're gonna do. Um, the cook time is just gonna be three or four minutes each side, so it's real fast. But it's all in the flavors that we're putting in these uh, beef short ribs. And what these are, you can see here, um, this, it's about a quarter inch cut of a short rib and it comes from the chuck flanking uh, portion of the cow. And they're just strips that have been cut across the bones instead of your, you know, your normal piece of short ribs or your beef longer ribs. Um, but they're just little pieces of meat, delicious, delicious um, chuck that's surrounded by this bone and the bone gives it a ton of flavor and you know they cook these they marinate them for overnight um, you're going to cook them on a hot grill at medium hot heat over coals but what's unique is is the marinade that i'm using and, and i'm kind of putting my flair on it a little bit i'm using some of my ap to start with and you just want to get a good coverage get the meat seasoned good on one side you want to do both sides always the next step is to take some dark brown sugar you want to use some dark brown sugar and get a good coating. I got about a quarter cup here that I'm going to spread out and pack on these short ribs. So I'll put about half on one side and then we'll kind of come in and pack it down a little. Any that didn't get any, we're going to kind of move them around, get, get them on some. And we're going to flip them over and get some, get some of this dark brown sugar on the back side. That's really going to bring like a caramely flavor to these short ribs when they get in the marinade and all the sugar is going to melt we're going to get it all in the in the bag on them i'm just kind of just giving it a good coat on top of that ap rub just make sure to get it all rubbed into the, to these short ribs they're looking good now now that we got the sugar on we're going to make our we're going to put our marinade together put these to the side Okay, to start the marinade for these uh, Korean style short ribs, we're gonna start with three quarters of a cup of water. And then we're gonna come back with some good soy sauce. Uh, I just use this Kinkamon soy sauce. All right, we've got three quarters of a cup soy sauce. To that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of vinegar for some acidity. It's gonna brighten it up, brighten this marinade up. Then you need two tablespoons of sesame oil. I'm just gonna eyeball that, but one, two. Now, good dose of black pepper, about a tablespoon. And we're coming with, I've got about four or five green onions, some scallions, just uh, roughly chopped up. We're gonna add that to it. And two tablespoons of fresh ginger. And three or four whole cloves of garlic that we just chopped up roughly. This is gonna be the base for the marinade. Now I'm just gonna give it a good whisk. Just kind of mix it up. This is really what's gonna bring the flavor to our Korean style short ribs. And just, I'm just gonna put a touch of these sesame seeds in there. Just kind of pour out about, about a teaspoon here. We'll add those to the party. Now, now this needs to marinate at least, at least six hours and preferably you wanna let it marinate overnight if you can. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've got a, one of these big Ziploc bags that I'm gonna put these ribs down in and pour this marinade in, then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and just kinda of let it hang out overnight. I'll come back and, uh, and kinda of move it around every now and then just to make sure everything's getting covered good, but you wanna, you wanna just let it chill out, let it hang out, let these flavors develop in the meat. And this is the hardest part of this whole recipe. The grilling part's simple, anybody can do it. 
Yeah. All you had to do is just follow this recipe. Um, you can get all the recipe stuff on my newsletter. I'm going to send it out. It'll also be on the website on my blog soon, too. So if you need the exact measurements and all that, don't worry about trying to write them down from the video. But I want to get this marinade worked in. That's all you need to do there. Just roll it up tight, maybe set it down in another dish or a small pan, slide it in the refrigerator overnight. Um, you know, at least go six hours, but if you got overnight, it's the best. So we'll show you. We're going to let this rest and hang out. We'll show you how to grill these Korean style beef short ribs. We come back, stick around. Okay, I'm out here at my Weber. I've got it fired up. Uh, you know, I've got one chimney of coals on here, but it's pretty good and hot. And I've got my grill grates on. And uh, you know, if you don't have a set of these for your outdoor grill, man, you gotta get some. I'm not any way affiliated with grill grates. I just love the product. But uh, you've seen me cook it on them before. But uh, I've, the short ribs here have come up to temp. And we're just laying them right on the grate, man. This is nothing fancy. Get them on your grill however you can get them on there. Just make sure you have a good medium hot fire. You want the sizzle. And it's going to take about four minutes on each side. Can't get them all on at once. Hey, do two batches. I'm going to do two. That's about all I want to. I may have room right there here for one more. I'll do that. I'm doing two. But I'm, what I'm going to do is start a four-minute timer. I got a little time stick here. And we're going to give them a flip. Four minutes, take them off and rest them. Got my rice cooking on the inside. We're going to serve these with. And you know, you'll think that um, you know, you might say, "How come I'm not going to baste these or glaze them?" Well, they've got so much flavor from that marinade that they absolutely don't need any kind of finishing sauce. I mean, if you if you got an Asian glaze you like, go ahead. But this is kind of how they were served at Tan Din and. And that's the recipe that I, that I really, really uh, think is incredible. All right, it's been it's been uh, four minutes on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in, and if you had that grill lubed up good and clean, they'll turn real easy on you. It won't be sticking. You might get an occasional stick, but it's not bad. They got some good marks on them, looking good on this side. We're gonna give these short ribs another four minutes, and that's it, man. I'm telling you, this cooking process is fast. This, uh, a lot of times, you know, Korean restaurants are where you see these served, you can even do them table side. Set my timer. Get it going. Four more minutes, we'll be done here. Okay, it's been a total of eight minutes. Four minutes on each side, and these, these this first round of big short ribs are done. Put some juices, kind of hate to waste any of that good juice that kicks out. We'll just kind of let it drip over the other ones. I'm going to cook this next round. Just a few more here. Hey, and these are some great looking Korean style beef short ribs. I'm going to get these plated up inside after a little bit of a rest with some rice, a um, little bit of more scallion on top, and then we're going to serve them with some kimchi and uh, we'll see you inside. All right. This is the final dish plated and on. You know, all we did was uh, cooked a couple cups of jasmine rice, put on the bottom of the platter, you know, just two cups of rice, four cups of water, a pinch of salt for about 30 minutes. You know, you want to boil it and then take it down, just, just like the directions say. But uh, just plate the short ribs up. I mean, we didn't do anything fancy. This is a little bit of green onions that I had left over and just a sprinkle of uh, sesame seeds. And this is the kimchi dish I was telling you about. And if you've never tried kimchi, don't let the name scare you. It's basically a, almost like a pickled cabbage. Um, it's fermented and it'll remind you of kind of like an Asian slaw. It's got a little kick to it. And it's got some wonderful flavor, but it goes excellent with beef. And I'm gonna jump in here and, and just try one of these short ribs. Mmm. The flavor's great. Don't need a sauce or anything. Give this dish a try. I mean, you got to try these flavors that the the uh, the brown sugar kind of brings that sweetness and the vinegar mellowed out the the um, brought a brightness to it. And you know, with the soy sauce, it's bringing some of that good Asian flavor. Um, excellent, excellent recipe. Uh, it's my creation of Tan Dan's Korean style beef short ribs. So check it out. Uh, watch our uh, YouTube channel, and if you like it, look at our newsletter. And just follow us on Facebook.